Hey friends, it's Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead and I'm coming at you kind of with an out of the ordinary video. You guys know that I like to post a video every Sunday kind of showing what projects we're up to during the week on our homestead. But last week, my oldest son Gabriel came across a video from exactly 10 years ago. This video was from April um, 2013 and it was just we watched it and we just had to laugh because well i'll explain why it's so kind of funny and interesting but anyways one of the most common questions that i get is what was life like when i didn't have big helpers because you guys know i have eight children um my oldest will be um turning 16 here soon and my youngest is um two months old and so Right now I have four kids that are older and capable. They are 15, 14, almost 12, and almost 10. So life for me is very different now than it was back when everybody was little. And so what was so interesting when we watched this video, when we found it, was that it was a little peek into what life was like um, when I didn't have big helpers. And so I wanted to share it because I think it answers the question for a lot of people. This is a video I had filmed. I had kind of a private family blog back at that point where I was documenting what was going on with the little kids and kind of keeping records for school reasons because we had just started homeschooling my oldest son. He was five years old and in kindergarten. And as most brand new homeschool moms, I was very eager to get started with structured school. And you may, if you're a homeschool mom who's been doing it for a while, you soon realize with subsequent children that you don't need to be so gung-ho and, and eager um, for structured lessons. But anyways, at that point, I had um, a desire to keep records of what we were doing throughout our day just for my own like bookkeeping purposes. So a lot of times I would take videos of the projects we were doing for his kindergarten schooling. And one day, um, just for fun, I decided to do a day in the life video. This is long before I was on YouTube or anything, and I was just doing it for my own purposes. And so I found this video that showed a day in the life 10 years ago, and I'm going to share that with you guys today. And what is interesting about it is that my older four kids in this video are almost identical ages to my younger four kids right now. Gabe is five, David is four, Grace is two, and Elizabeth is seven weeks old, which is very close to how old Hannah is. So it's just a kind of a glimpse of what my life would be like right now with Levi, who is six, John, who is four, Benjamin, who is two, and Hannah, who is two months old. This is what my life would be like if I didn't have the older kids to help. One other thing that I want to note is that we lived... Um, in a whole different house in this video, as you will see. We lived in a neighborhood in a kind of a suburban area. Um, we had a small garden and you'll see canning jars on the counter. I, I did canning and things like that back then, but not. I, we didn't live on a homestead. We weren't homesteading. And so life was very different in other ways because we didn't have the amount of work that we had to do. Um, so it's funny, people will ask, was it easy, was life easier when I only had little kids? Is it, is it easier now with big kids? And I'll just say for us, it was very different because our first four kids, when, where we were raising them was a whole different season of life. We lived in a neighborhood and about less than a year after this video was taken, we moved from that home um, and started searching for our homestead. And then our younger four, it's almost like we have these two different sets of children. Our younger four kids have all been born here at the homestead. So life was different in this video and um, it's gotten harder the more children we've had just because we've added more work. We now have animals to care for. The size of my garden is bigger. The amount of food I have to preserve obviously is a lot more than it was when our family was half the size. But also um, I have helpers. So it's easier in that regard that there are kids that do a lot of that work for me. But on the other hand, too, I have a lot more older kids who require different things of me. They um, require a lot more mental and emotional um, energy and output from me than they did when they were little. And I have five students doing school now as opposed to just one back then. So I, th I don't think it's fair to compare what is easier and what is harder. They're both difficult. Motherhood is difficult no matter what season you're in. Um, the challenges are just different and they change as the, the children age. So 
All right, that's enough rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and share this video uh, with you. This is what my life was like exactly 10 years ago with my older set of four children. All right, up bright and early. Something that has been constant throughout my entire marriage is that I've always woken up with Adam when he leaves for work and I like to see him in the morning or I would just miss him all day if I didn't see him. The thing that's different now as opposed to back then is that my children, at least the older boys, would always wake up early. I had early risers. I don't have that now because my younger children tend to stay up a little later than the first set of young children did because they have older siblings that kind of keep them up. So I would always wake the kids so that Adam would get to see them all before he left for work. That was just something that's always been important to me. I know that if I were in Adam's shoes and had to leave every morning, I would miss my children if I didn't get to see them. But as my kids have gotten older, um, they've required more sleep. They stay up later, so they definitely sleep in, and Adam doesn't get to see them now. So that's one thing that's different. Um, so we always waved him off, and it's so funny to see Adam with the long hair. He grew his hair out. He cut it very shortly after this, after Elizabeth was born. Our house, when we lived here in this neighborhood, was almost double the size of what we have now, and we had half as many people in it, so <laughs> sometimes I look at all this space I had. We had two full baths and another half bath. We had four bedrooms plus an extra bedroom in a, in a completely finished basement. I don't even know what I could do <laughs> with all of this space if we had it now, but some things haven't changed, like having a baby on a bouncy seat on the kitchen counter. It's kind of always been a constant. Another thing that has changed is I had a functioning dishwasher back then, so that was nice. Something that Gabe did with kindergarten every day, I would have him look out and tell me what the weather was like, and we had this calendar on the wall that we would complete, and that's how I taught him days of the week and everything like that. And then we would all focus on getting ready for the day. I would bathe all the children, get myself ready, and this is how we started our days. So funny to see some of these cloth diapers that are still in use now <laughs> after four more children. Um, but anyways, always nursing babies. I've been either nursing or pregnant for 16 straight years now. It's just, this is normal as is laundry. Although my former self back here four kids ago would have no idea what it would be like to do laundry for 10 people in the future. Laundry is something that Man, it just never ends when you're a mother of a large family. Now it's time for school. Got my cup of hot tea, that hasn't changed. We were going through my father's world kindergarten with Gabriel. I did this with Gabriel and then after him I realized that we would just skip to first grade and use that for kindergarten in the future. And that's what I'm doing with Levi right now who is in kindergarten. Baking bread, that hasn't changed much. <laughs> Another thing is having a refrigerator full of colored pictures and drawings from children. I will miss that one day when I don't have them there. Hopefully I'll have a lot of grandchildren to fill my fridge with beautiful drawings. Sweet little Elizabeth. You can see that she was a brunette um, when she was born. She has dark hair like Hannah did and her hair turned blonde after her first birthday or so. So maybe Hannah will also be blonde. We'll never know. I guess we'll have to wait to find out. So running an errand, since we lived in town back then, it really wasn't a big deal to run errands. I would just kind of do them as needed. Now I kind of save them up for town days, but these days of having to get four little ones buckled into car seats all by myself, I remember those days. Now I have big kids that help me do that. So that's definitely something that has changed. And like I said, we would just run errands as needed back then as a chance to get out of the house. And now we're so busy at home that I try to leave as little as possible because we need to get schoolwork done and chores done and things. All right, now it's time to nurse again. You're always nursing with a little baby. Got that bread ready to punch down. And then time to work on lunch. Still wearing the same apron. Still working on taking off postpartum baby weight. Not much <laughs> has changed in 10 years. It's pretty, pretty crazy. But something that is different is when my babies got fussy back in these days of little ones, I had to wear them. I wore my babies a whole lot more 
Now, if the baby's fussy, there's always an older sibling that'll run to her before I even have to say anything and pick her up and calm her down. But back then, if I had to sweep the floor like this and the baby was fussing, I had to wear her to do it. So that is definitely a blessing of having older children is someone to occupy the baby for you. This is something that's always happened. Adam always has called several times throughout the day to just hear the kids' voices and to check up with me and hear what the kids are doing. And we always look forward to that. Now we have smartphones, so we do video calls, which is even better. But we love these old, decade-old phones. <laughs> it's funny to see how technology has changed. All right, after lunch, getting some of those wiggles out, we would very often, we had this very large kitchen. I look at this and I'm like, oh my goodness, I wouldn't even know what to do with all this space because I'm dealing with a quarter of this space now and cooking so much. But we had this large open space in the kitchen and I had a radio set up on the counter. And so the kids, if it was a rainy day like this and we needed to get wiggles out, we would just have dance parties in the kitchen. If it was nicer out, we would go in the backyard and we had a little swing set out there and it was fenced in and the children could run around to kind of get some wiggles out before um, nap time. But it looks like on this particular day, I'm waiting on this bread to finish baking before we get everybody down for naps. And I've loved baking ever since I got married and Things have changed because as Gabriel's dairy allergy became something that we realized was much more severe than we had initially understood, my baking had to definitely change. And I had to learn how to bake all over again, dairy-free, but it's been a fun challenge. I definitely enjoy a challenge. You don't have eight children unless you <laughs> enjoy a challenge. But Just getting that laundry that I had done earlier in the day hung up. My bread is all done baking. Not quite sure why I put it in the fridge, but I guess that's what I did 10 years ago. And then we're just working on getting ready for naps. Naps have always been something that I have prioritized ever since having children. I have to have a nap or else I will be worthless for the second half of the day. And in this house, we had so much space with all of the different bedrooms that everybody could be put to bed in a different room. So Grace would go in the girls room. I would put David in the master bedroom. Gabe would go in the boys room and then the baby and I would nap on the couch and that is what worked for us. Something else that you'll notice is that my house is not particularly straightened up or perfectly organized and that's because that is what life is like when you have four children age five and under and that's just realistic. Um, especially if you're homeschooling them and they don't go to daycare or, or school or something like that, something has to give. And um, so I would typically do my cleaning on the weekends when Adam was home to help watch children for me. So hopefully you enjoyed that little peek into one of our days in our old life. As I mentioned, I often feel like my life is separated by these two completely different seasons of life and sets of children. I have children who are, are almost identically spaced into these groups of four. Four of them were born at our old house in the neighborhood and four of them were born here on our homestead and there was a three-year gap between them which is the largest gap we've ever had and that gap was just simply due to um, a miscarriage that we had um, in between Elizabeth and Levi. But it's just, it's so interesting to me to see how, how um, God has blessed me and the ability to kind of do it all over again with this second set of children in entirely different circumstances. And I just love it. It's such a blessing. So um, yeah, hopefully that was fun for you. If you liked this kind of video, kind of seeing what life was like, I found when we discovered this USB drive with all of these videos on it, I found several other ones. There were some food preservation videos from when I just had the two big boys and we were preserving corn and things and um, so that might be fun to share to show you how I did that when I only had little kids but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more special videos like this otherwise I will see you this Sunday with our normal content hope you're having a great week friends bye